Um, which one has a white butt? Reach the upper grassland area. All right, where's my car? <laughs> far? Yep, it's it's got a distance to it. Remington. Yeah. Remington doesn't have any wood on it. It's an assault rifle. <laughs> Alright. In the truck. Let's go. Hunt some whitetail. This looks safe. 50 yet? Barely break 38. Let me do this my way. I have a feeling the mechanics for animal scarcity aren't exactly. Did you see a badger? What the fuck? That was a little intense. Oh. Well, it died. Oh, did it stop? Oh, I thought it stopped inside his lung. I'm like, that's. Wait, what does play do? Oh, it plays that. Sell. All right. So I used a way too big of a caliber for that. Ooh. Spooked. Distance 270 yards. Alright, let's walk it in. Alright, what does this do? Oh, it makes me just, like, walk real slow. It's an interesting mechanic. Alright, so first shot. Unfazed. Oh, we're not even there yet. Better stay low, move quietly, and glass frames from behind cover. Well, I already beat you to it, and it's a buck, so. <laughs> I remember when I couldn't tell the difference between a white tailed deer and a mule deer. Grandpa used to tease me. <laughs> Let's do the second shot. So the first shot went oh, right through the lung. The second shot did the same thing. Alright, well. Oh, it just stopped right inside of it. What was I using? 43 wind mag. Well, that one did it. Yeah. Well, sell that bad boy. In the base of hunt, now shot by multiplayer mode and amazing. Let's go kill more Let's animals. See if I haven't forgotten all those hunting lessons from Grandpa. Alright, so this like, when I plus, when I do the walking thing, everything goes a little bit dark, and I can seem to analyze sounds and footsteps. It's like focus mode. Um. X 
accept the new restaurant order? Alright. Let's let's go let's go start a restaurant. Oh yeah, because what we we supply meat. Ethically um harvested wild game. Because apparently venison from farms is not good enough for the where are we? Where is this? I wonder how big the market is for wild caught like venison and, and such. It's probably pretty probably a big market. Um I just thought why don't you just go harvest it yourself? You, you take down a deer, that's that's a lot of meat. Last you a long time. If you don't know how to harvest or anything, well, just go with someone who does. And then you can bring it to like a butcher and they can slap it up for you. Now, in uh, the Hunter games, well, Hunter Call of the Wild, when you're driving a vehicle, if you hit an animal, it doesn't die. Um. You die. <laughs> you get you get injured. It doesn't have any trucks or anything. It's got those ATVs. And I'm wondering if maybe maybe this game's got the uh, you got the ability to uh, take down a deer with a car. Probably kill the score. All right. Hope this email finds well. How was everything? Blah blah blah. Last year. Beijing duck, the year of the chicken recipe. I'm in left car to take over the forms. I guess this is my husband's. We will be upgrading our General Sal's chicken, but with some pheasant meat. General Sal's pheasant. You're welcome to visit us again for your favorite Sichuan hot pot. I am still holding on to your bottle. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's waiting for you here with love, Lynn. All right, so just the mission is to get some pheasant. I need a shotgun. This reminds me when Grandpa went for a pheasant hunt and forgot to take it. Um, I sh should have a free shotgun. There it is. Can I get attachments for my shotgun? Nah, I don't need it. Um, so, all right, so we got. Alright, we don't. Uh, I feel. Um, see, this is this is the problem. I can't hold more than two guns at a time. Which one's more important? Probably the Remington. So let's let's put that bad boy away. Put the shotgun in there. No, let's go hunt some pheasant. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> be real. Where'd the car go? Gotta be really camouflaged. Harvest six and a half pounds of pheasant. Oh yeah, pretty good here. All right, so I saw some pheasants down this way. You know what? Let's do this the right way. Let's do this the right way. What is that? Oh, it's the... <laughs> do I have bullets? Yeah, I do. So there's no meter telling me how much noise I'm making. I know I'm making a lot of it. But there's nowhere to kind of tell. Well, they should... I don't know if it matters. I'm guessing it does. 
since this is the range, I'm assuming there aren't going to be any pheasants. So let's go. It's just like, I know that's just wind, but you know, you know the potential you have, and how just how funny it would be if you marketed a game like this. It's just a a simple hunting game, like it has been, but then all of a sudden, like you just like little glimpses of like some sort of like something out there. Could be anything. Could be big. Uh, don't do Bigfoot, because you can hunt Bigfoot. But something that you can't stop, like an alien or something paranormal. That's just like you just every once in a while you see it, but like you don't know if you saw it. You're like, oh, that must just be a an interesting little tidbit in the game, a little Easter egg. But no, but then you see it multiple times, and you're like, oh, wait a second, am I being pursued here? Like, I think that'd be really interesting. All right, so I saw the pheasants around here. This is where the truck came flying in. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah, zero in your iron sights on your 12 gauge. I don't know how much good that's gonna do ya. Definitely heard it. Get this motherfucker. It's okay if we spook him. Then they'll take off. I ain't shooting a bird that's on the ground. That's illegal. Come on. Get off the ground. Well, that that got him. Um, that, yup. I I got him. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Don't worry. You just did a little hop over here, so. Oh, hello. I don't want to shoot you when you're on the ground, buddy, though. It's not fair to you. Definitely missed that first shot. Where'd he go? There you go. Well, got him. Let me get out of the trees. Oh, that's it. It's like three birds. Not even. Fat pheasants. This uh, this like hunter sense thing or whatever this is, 
Is a little bit. Oh, it feels a little overpowered. Um, the animals seem very unbeknownst to you. They don't really care that you're there until you get too close. Which is a little. Makes feel a little easy. Makes feel like I can run through these woods and I'm still gonna see something. Um, or drive the car, to, you know, right up to them. Whatever. Let's put the car back up on the lodge, just in case I need it. I've already told you a million times, but I'll say it a trillion. Thank you so much for helping me with Bear Den Ranch. Restaurants always place their orders with me by email. I think you wrote down my email password when you visited me in hospital. I don't trust the postal service enough to write it down here. I couldn't be happier to hear that you started hunting again, despite your father's disapproval. You're an adult now. You can make your own decisions. When he found out you were hunting with me as a kid without permission and forbid you to ever visit me again, it broke my heart forever. So in a medical sense, this will help to heal the physical scars that share my heart tissue with the metaphorical ones. Do you remember Hollywood, the little fawn you named when we saw him no older than a few weeks? Well, I decided... I did. Well, that muley is an old gentleman now, and unfortunately, he has abnormal antlers just like his father. It's a genetic trait that would spread further. I have one request. Taxidermy him for this nostalgic old man and put him right next to his father in the lodge. He is the only trophy I left there. The rest I had my friend Bustin' Dustin move to a bigger place. Do you believe there's such a thing as too many trophies? I'll pay for this taxidermy, but for any others, you will have to save your own money. P.S. I wanted to shoot him many times, but every time my finger froze on the trigger because I think of him as yours. P.S. 2. I have so little to do at the hospital, I decided to draw a little present for you. It's a comic story about the summers you spent in Nes Perce Valley as a kid. I decided to draw some situations we never talked about, and perhaps it'll be easier this way. Maybe you completely forgot about some. Maybe some still linger in you the same way they do in me. Expect more. Your loving grandpa. Dear River. I decided right. to draw. Nope. Okay, I so that's what Hollywood looks like. Some I decided to. I decided to. I decided to. I decided to. Okay, so to Hollywood looks like that. We never awesome. About. Oh, we can play this. It was summer 2002, and 10 year old River was about to spend his first holiday with his grandparents. River could feel the adventure and mischief in his young bones. Why has River never visited his grandparents before? Wow! Dad! Dad! What? Ask his father. There was a deer! Which one is a white butt? Mule deer or white-tailed deer? It has to be white-tailed, right? I don't know. Grandpa will know. 
because my father-in-law knows everything. A few hours later, River was finally in Nez Perce Valley, and his joy was matched only by that of his grandparents. But not everyone shared their elation. Grandpa! <laughs> I saw a deer! It was probably a white-tailed because he had a white butt. Mule deer also have white butts. How can you tell the difference? Wallace. Richard. I want to speak to you in private. River was amazed when he entered the lodge. The walls seemed bigger somehow, and the animals looked alive. Wait here. I've got something for you. But that summer, there was one thing River was forbidden to even think about. To be crystal clear, you were absolutely not allowed to let him anywhere near a gun or anything to do with hunting. Richard, that's impossible. This is a hunting lodge after all. You know what I mean. Will you help me finish it? Days went by, and River couldn't get enough of nature. He already felt it was his best summer yet, but it was about to get even better. Ah! That's how he met April and Noah. Hi, I'm River. have to be the animal <laughs> because you're the youngest poor girl why this is what hunters do isn't it no real hunters are ethical they want to make an animal suffer like this and not even retrieve it afterwards river kept making the best memories he could that summer he was also determined to find out more about his mother as his father and grandfather never spoke of her my mother hunted too. Oh, you found the album. Why do we never talk about her? You'll have to ask your grandfather about that. But you can ask me anything else, sweetheart. But this secret had to wait for another day. Time flew by, and soon the summer was at an end. Wow! Try yelling something. On the last day, they made a new friend and named her Echo. Alright, so there's a lot of... <laughs> there's a lot of questions. Uh, it's an interesting story. I... I... I knew this. I like as I'm playing this game, I, I can see there being a little more to the to the actual story than other hunting games. Um, so a little more nuance to it. But so there's obviously something going on. Um, obviously, um, somehow my mother died uh, when I was young. It seemed like it was a tragedy. Something bad happened. No one wants to talk about it. Um, well, we'll probably find out. That's my guess. Um, but let's start with Hollywood. Let's get him out of the way. <laughs> 